everyone welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial for today is the Ellie bracelet and it's the bracelet that I made when I went live with Ellie Buckman from Potomac Bead Company this is the uh, sample piece here but I um, only made a small piece but I will be doing um, the full tutorial now and on my other camera because it was very hard to see on a webcam. So let me just get my lights fixed here. Now as I mentioned there was going to be a giveaway and I'm giving away an entire bracelet kit. So when I'm finished this there will be kits and there's only going to be four kits available because I have enough for five and I want to give one away. And I haven't been able to go on craft chat where the video actually live stream went to actually pick a winner there yet. So I will do that and I will do a little video of the uh, winner who, who won that one. Um, the winner from my last uh, contest, not contest, but giveaway, uh, won the set of charms. And unfortunately uh, I never heard back from this person and I do not know how to contact you so um, I will also mention her in the next video and get her to contact me so I can send her her charms so whoever wins this um, when I go draw the name today whoever wins this will get um, a whole entire um, kit for free now I have more charms left so I am going to give away on this video a package of these gorgeous charms that I used in my uh, previous tutorial so these are all the double-sided charms that I used in that gorgeous bracelet so um, to enter into the giveaway all you have to do is leave a comment below okay and tell me um, anything you want to tell me about Christmas okay that's all you have to do to enter that now I'm going to show you how to make this I'm not going to do a full bracelet I will just do another little Barbie piece uh, but the kit will come with all the ingredients you need to make a full-size bracelet I don't know how big it's gonna be but it will it'll definitely be enough to make an eight or an eight and a half so let me just dump out some of uh, Potomac's uh, round duos these are um, five millimeter crystal Labrador and these are beautiful beads and I will be doing a Christmas ornament with these beads next Thursday on a clear glass ornament I will have uh, a few kits available so you're going to need um, some mini duos and these ones are called chalk white luster this is white shimmer um, bead button cup button sorry this is Potomac's exclusive cup button absolutely love the cup buttons guys love 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 I'm also using um, red these are Siam Ruby whatever color I'm using two different colors of mini duels so there's red and there's white and then I'm going to be using a little wee bit of an 11-0 and some 15-0 and this is just crystal silver lined 15-0s okay and these are red flame red silver lined flame red now with your cup button I'm also going to include where are they a crystal to glue on the top if you want to glue a crystal Rivoli from Potomac these are a 10 millimeter and Ellie um, explained the exact size that they would fit perfectly in the cup button so you might want to glue them with a little bit of I would say E6000 okay I'm not going to glue it in yet I I'm not going to glue it in at all because I'm going to be taking this bracelet apart now let's get started I am using oh sorry and we need um, some three millimeter and you will get a whole strand of Potomac's three millimeter 
um, exclusive rondelles and these are crystal AB so you will get the whole strand you're going to get a whole tube of your silver line crystal you're going to get a whole tube of mini duos in the red you're going to get a cup button you're going to get a whole tube of this silver line flame red and you're going to use hardly any of that you will get enough of the white chalk white um, mini duos and you will definitely get enough of the um, um, round duos so yeah I have a whole entire strand of that so but somebody won one of these kits and I haven't been able to release their name now this bracelet I used two needles and they're both size 10 and I'm using wildfire 00 0.6 and I am going to thread my needle on both of the, or thread my thread on both of these needles. So one end on one and one end on the other. Okay. There's one. Well, I really mucked up my nail polish, guys. I just don't have patience to wait for it to dry, so sorry. And I had to take a lot of stuff to storage, and I packed my nail polish remover. <laughs> and it's sitting in storage. So that doesn't help me none. All right, but I just needed to get this video done, so now I can't remove that. All right, so we've got our needle threaded. And first and foremost, you're going to start with your cup button and you're going to go through the top first on and you're going to put both needles through the top of the cup button like so and find your middle and just drop that down. Then you're going to pick up two of the 11 O's in the red on each needle. Okay. And then you're going to pick up a mini duo, a white mini duo, and you're going to put both needles through that same mini duo, so one in one hole, one in the other, and bring that down until you have this. Okay, and this is what you would call the Alley bracelet. I named it after Alley because I've done it um, this exclusively for our live show. Now, you're going to pick up two red mini duos on one needle. And two more red on the other needle and you're just gonna let those fall you're going to pick up a white mini duo and you're gonna put one needle in one hole and one needle in the other and this is what you should have okay this so far now you're going to pick up is it uh, So you're going to pick up a 15-0, and that's the crystal silver line, on one needle, and you're going to pick up a round duo on the other, or on the same needle, and a 15-0. So this is what you should have. Okay. Now with your left needle, you're going to pick up a 15-0. Then you're going to put it through the second hole of the round duo, like this. Okay. Pick up another 15-0 and you're going to let that fall okay so you should have this like that see all right now you're going to repeat the same pattern again picking up a white duo to red a white so i'm going to pick up one white mini duo on one needle and two red ones on one needle and the same needle and the white one okay I'm going to take my second needle, I'm going to go through the second hole of that first white mini duo I put on, okay, whoops, okay, and then I'm going to pick up two red mini duos with that same needle, it's actually my left hand, and then I'm going to go through the second hole of the second mini duo that we just put on, like so like that okay and then you're gonna bring that down 
So now you've got this again. And now you're going to put this, um, that amount, or that amount, that um, section on again. Whoopsies. Why does this look twisted? All right. Looks fine. Okay, so your 15 0 your round duo, and that hole is a little bit clogged, but I just pushed it through with my needle. Okay, and then on your other needle, pick up a 15 0 and go through the second hole of the round duo. Okay, and pick up a 15 0 Bring that down. Okay, now with one needle, pick up a white mini duo, two red mini duos, and a white mini duo. On the second one, or in your second needle, go pick up, put your needle through the first mini duo. Okay. Oops. I had a feeling I was going to push those off. Put those back on. Okay, and then you're going to pick up two more reds on your left needle, and then you're going to go through the second hole of the second mini duel like that. Okay? Like that. Okay? Now, with one needle, pick up a 15 0, a round duo, and a 15 0. And with the second needle, pick up a 15 -0 and go through the second hole of the round duo you picked up with your other needle. Okay. Wow. This wants to give me a hard time. Oh, it's because it's a little bit... There we go. I pushed it through. And another 15 -0. Okay. Like that. Okay, so this is what you have. So I'm going to show you one more time, and then I'm going to end this bracelet, all right, because we don't need a big long one for a sample Barbie bracelet. Now you're going to pick up a mini duo, two red, and one white. On the second needle, you're going to go through the first mini duo of the second hole, Okay, and pick up two reds and go through the second hole of the red of the white mini duo, okay? Of the second one. And this is what you should have. Wow. Really messed up my fingernails. Okay. So I'm sorry guys, I just don't have time right now to waste waiting for nail polish to dry. Okay, so this is what we have. And pretend this is a whole size that I need um, in, an, in an 8. Okay? Now you're going to put on 28 11 O's, and I'm using red, which is the 11 O's. 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. Okay, well I'm hoping 28 will be enough because when we glue, when you glue the um, um, Rivoli on the top of this, it may require you to, to put more beads on um, because I'm just going to go down in here and check to see. I went through, whoops, the white, I went down the other side of the white, down through the two red and the white. And I'm just going to pull this loop because I just want to see how good. Okay, that should be pretty safe to put on. Um. All right, so 
Now you're coming out of your mini duel, go right across into the second hole and go back up. Okay. And now you're going to go right back through all of these beads again because you're exiting in the wrong place. So I'm just going to give this a good tight pull, tighten everything up. And I want to stop when I get to the um, bottom of these 11 O's. Okay, so I'm done. Now you're going to take your second needle and you're going to run it all the way around this loop so you're exiting over here. Okay, because your both needles are coming out on the wrong side. You can't have both there. And now we're just going to do a wee bit of embellishing. Okay. and we are done going through these so these are good and reinforced now you've gone through it three times so it's good and safe okay now this is what you should have on your on your mat your, your base it should look like that Okay, so now coming out of the bottom of this 11 0, you're going to pick up two 15 0s and you're going to exit right into the top hole of the mini duel, like that. Okay, now in here. In this space, you're going to pick up a red or a white, whatever color you want. In my case, I used a red. Okay. And you're going to go through the next mini duel. So go through this second mini duel like this. Then you're going to pick up a 15 0, right? Let me have a look. Uh, yes. You're going to pick up a 15 0. And you're going to drop down and go into the 15-0 right before that round duel, right there, okay? And then you pull it out of your hand like that. Okay, let me just get this so I don't get confused with this thread, okay? Then you're going to pick up a 15-0, a round duel, and a 15-0. And you're going to go right into the next 15-0 that's past that round duel. Okay, and then you're going to pull. Now you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pick up a 50 no. You're going to go into the top hole of the mini duo. Whoops. You're going to pick up a red mini duo or white, whatever color you want. And you're going to go into the next mini duo. Okay. Then you're going to pick up a 50 no. You're going to drop down into the 50 no right below the, in the previous round. You're going to go into that 50 no that's just before the round duo, like this. Okay. And pull. Then you're going to pick up a 50 no, a round duo, and a 50 no. And you're going to go into the 50 no here. So this is what you should have. Okay. Now you're going to pick up a 15 0 and you're going to exit through the mini duo. You're going to pick up another mini duo and you're going to go right across into the next one. Alright, so you have this. Now you're going to pick up a 15 0, a round duo. and a 15 -0. and you're going to go, oopsies, sorry, just a 15 -0. and then you go into this 15 -0 first before we pick up a round duel, okay? Now you're going to pick up a 15 -0 round duel, and this is a little bit clogged again, and a 15 -0. and you're going to go into the next 15 -0 right there, like that, okay? Then you're going to pick up a 15-0. You're going to go into your mini duo, the red one, the first one. OK. 
okay and my thread's coming off then you're going to pick up a mini duo so I'm picking up a red one and I'm going to go into the next one like that okay so now we are at the end here so you're going to pick up two 15 O's all right and you're going to go into the red red um, 11 O's like that you're just going to go across go down and work up the other side okay the same way you just did this side so I'm going to go finish doing this one side and we are going to end um, and I'll, I'll sh come back and show you what to do with embellishing the rest of this okay so just stop when you get to there and I'll be right back okay guys I've finished that one side and I've just picked up my last two 15 O's and this is what you should have on your mat okay so I've gone through gone down both up and down both sides now we're just going to add in our um, three millimeter rondelles and you can use any three millimeter rondelles but I like these ones from Potomac Bead Company and I will leave a link below um, where you can get all of the supplies I used in this uh, bracelet this alley bracelet is so pretty all right so now all we're going to do here is I'm just weaving my needle all the way around and now instead of going anywhere else I'm getting out of this needle because it's confusing me okay now do not pull your work super tight you will see a teeny tiny little thread but it's nothing in between here I mean if you go and put 15 O's in there um, I don't know guys I don't know how that's gonna look but um, if you pull it tight you will warp it so don't pull it tight all right now we are exiting out of the 15 O's here or the 11 O's you're going to go up into these two 15 O's you put on your previous round so go up into those okay pick up three more 15 O's and go into that top hole of the mini duel there and then you're going to start picking up three millimeter you can even use four millimeter I, I don't know it might work with four and you might not have that little space and go into the second hole of your round duo by putting a mini or three millimeter rondelle these are so pretty they're crystal AB and they're just gorgeous beads and I just went straight across and you're going to do this all the way down on both sides by just picking up a three millimeter and going across into the uh, round duo pick up a three millimeter and go across into the top hole of the mini duo that you put on on your previous round so that your bracelet looks like this okay look at how pretty that is I don't know if you guys can see it but it is gorgeous All right, let me get finished here. So I'm picking up a three millimeter and I am not pulling my thread tight. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up three 15 O's. When you get to the end of your bracelet, you pick up three and go right into those two 15 O's you put on in your previous round. Okay. Do not pull it tight, guys. Just don't warp it. If you pull it tight, it's going to warp like that. Okay. Now I am going to tie this thread off because this one is done. So I'm just going to go through my cut button, go down here, and I would tie this thread off or I can continue on. Actually I'm just going to continue on. I should have snagged these 11 O's before coming out of that cut button. So I'm going right back up into it. So into the 11 O's 
and okay so it wants to go into the 15 ohms too there we go and that way I'll just tie my thread there and you could because it's long enough to go down the side again okay so go into the first two 15 ohms it's getting a little tight a little bit tight Okay, I can get it. Oh, goodness. It's just the way they're sitting is all. It's not that it's tight or anything. It's just crazy. All right, pick up three 15s. And go into the top hole of the mini duo like so. Okay, pick up a round duo. Into the... A round duo. A three millimeter rondelle and into the round duo another three millimeter into the mini duo like that pick up a round three millimeter crystal into the duo crystal into the or into the round duo into the mini duo crystal round duo crystal and mini dual. Now when you get to the end, look at how pretty that is, guys. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Lovely, lovely pattern. I love it. Now you're going to pick up your three 15 O's because you want to complete your bracelet. Two, three. And you're going to go right into these two 15 O's and I am just going to tie my thread off right here where I meet with the other um, thread. Works out perfectly. All right. So this is how your bracelet would look. Don't pull it too tight. Okay. All right. All right, and I am not even bothering, but I would definitely weave at least one side in before you cut this off. Okay, there's both needles cut off, and there is the alley bracelet. Now this is where you would glue your crystal on, and you will get one of these in your kit if you order one. You will get a crystal. Like I said, I only have four kits available. They'll be up on Etsy. Like that. And you would glue that on. And there's your really pretty. I am not going to glue it on because I am going to take this bracelet apart. I just want to make sure that this will go over it when it's glued on. And it will. Okay. Alright guys, so make sure you comment below. And... I will draw a winner on my Thursdays um, live, uh, not, yeah, I will be live Thursday doing a Christmas ornament and there will be kits available for that, but they will not arrive before Christmas simply because Christmas is next Sunday. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Ellie bracelet. It's a lot of fun to make it's really pretty and you can make this with um, several other uh, colors they have tons of colors in Potomac Bead Company in the crystals so it doesn't have to be all these Christmas colors but I love the red and white okay so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon on Thursday's video which will be uh, our la my last show before uh, Christmas and I won't be back until New Year's Eve so I'll see you guys soon on the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.